Welcome back to our channel Prash. Learning is fun. In this module, let us learn how to draw ray diagrams when a parallel beam of light incident on the lens making some angle with the principal axis. We know that when a parallel beam of light incident on a convex lens, they converge at a point on the principal axis. Similarly, for a concave lens, they appear to diverge from the point on the principal axis. So, this point we call it as focus. And when the parallel beam of light incident on a lens making some angle with the principal axis, we know that they meet on the focal plane. So, what is a focal plane? A focal plane is a plane drawn perpendicular to the principal axis at focus. So, focal plane is drawn perpendicular to the principal axis at the focus. Okay. Similarly, for a concave lens, if the ray falls making some angle with the principal axis, they appear to meet at a point on the focal plane. So, here this is the focal plane for the concave lens because this is a virtual focus for a concave lens. Let us learn how to draw this diagram in a simple way. So, first I am taking a convex lens. Okay, this is the convex lens and this is the principal axis. Now, we know that for a convex lens, the focus is at F1. So, first I have to draw a focal plane. So, where is the focal plane? Focal plane should be drawn perpendicular to the principal axis at focus. So, now this is my focal plane. Right. Now, we have to draw a ray making some angle with the principal axis. So, I will take a ray which is making some angle with the principal axis passing through the optic center. So, first ray I have to draw a ray passing through the optic center. So, here I am I'm making you to learn how to draw this ray diagram in a simple way. Okay. Now, this is a ray which is passing through the optic center. This is the optic center. So, we know that the ray which is passing through the optic center always proceeds undeviated. Now, I have to take two rays above the above this line two rays and above this line two rays. So, I will take a ray which is parallel to the first ray. So, parallel to the first ray, I am taking another ray. I have to draw up to the lens. Okay, two lines above the first ray and two lines below the first ray up to the lens only I have to draw the rays. Okay. So, now these rays are called as incident rays. So, incident rays are falling on the lens. So, this is the point of incidence for this lens. Now, this line which is passing through the optic center, it is meeting at a point on the focal plane. Right. So, I have to join this incident ray to the focal plane, this point. Okay. So, this point I will take it as I. So, all the rays will converge at this point. So, I have to draw a line joining the incident point of incidence on the lens and the point I. So, here from the lens I have to draw a straight line joining the point I. So, now your diagram is ready. So, all the rays are meeting at a point on the focal plane. Okay, this is how we have to draw for a convex lens. Now, let us learn how to draw for a concave lens. So, this is our concave lens and this is the principal axis. This is our optic center. And we know that this is a concave lens. So, for a concave lens, the focus is virtual and it is at F1. So, behind the lens. So, I am drawing focal plane at F1. For in case of convex lens also, we have drawn the focal plane at F1 only. So, for concave also F1, for convex also F1. Okay. So, now this is our focal plane. Now, first as we have done for the convex, same we are going to do for the concave also. So, first ray I have to take a ray which is parallel to the parallel to the principal axis making some angle with the principal axis. Okay, parallel ray which is making some angle with the principal axis. So, now what I am doing is I am joining to the optic center meeting on the focal plane. So, this is my 
first ray which is passing through the optic center so we know that the ray which is passing through the optic center proceeds undeviated now i will take two rays which are parallel to the same ray first ray two above rays and two below so same parallel rays i have to take the same line so this is the line so parallel to that i have to take another line similarly another line so here two lines here we can also make it with one above and one below also then also you will get the diagram easy diagram so these are the rays which are making some angle with the principal axis falling on the lens so this is the point of incidence of the rays right now this ray is a this lens what we are calling as concave lens it is a diverging lens so the rays will diverge now where do they meet see here this is the line which is passing through the optic center so here it is this line is meeting at a focal plane at this point time let me take it as i so the first line what i have taken the first ray passing through the optic center it is meeting at a point on the focal plane so all the rays should meet at this point so i have to me join this point and the point of incidence of the incident rays so let me join this how to join please check it out see this line and this line i have to join these two points i have to join these two points so when i am joining these two points from here to the lens i have to put a dotted lines right so dotted lines and after coming to the lens i have to draw a straight line okay so this is my reflected ray similarly this point and this point has to be joined so starting from the focal plane dotted lines after reaching here straight line so this is my second reflected ray so this line is already joined now i am joining the third line see here the fourth one so dotted line up to the lens and then straight line so this is my fourth refracted ray now coming to fifth one see here this point and this point i am joining so join these two points in a dotted line and after reaching here straight line so here the rays which are making with making some angle with the principal axis after falling on the lens they diverge and when these rays are extended towards back side we will get the image on the focal plane right so now that you have understood how to write draw the ray diagram now let us apply the knowledge here okay let us complete this diagram by using the same knowledge let us suppose source a point object is placed at s so here the source is a point object so when the source is a point source then the image will also form on the principal axis so let us trace out where the image will fall so this is the source so from the source a ray passes through the from the source to the lens so this is the incident ray so this incident ray where should it meet okay so here this ray is making some angle with the principal axis so obviously it should meet at the point on the focal plane so i have to draw, draw a focal plane here so now this is my focal plane so how to trace out the point so first we have to draw a line passing through the optic center this line parallel to this line so see here this is a ray first ray so to this ray i have to draw a parallel line passing through the optic center did you got my point how i have traced the parallel line right so now so this is a point on the focal plane so now this ray has to meet at here this is the point of incidence on the lens right so i have to join these two so when i am joining these two lines these two lines they meet when i am joining these two lines they meet at a point on the principal axis so this point where the rays are meeting this point i will get the image let us complete this diagram here in this diagram the incident ray is given we have to draw the refracted ray and trace out the image 
so observe this ray first it is making some angle with the principal axis so the image should fall on the focal plane so just draw the focal plane at f1 this is your focal plane now see this is our original ray okay so bring it and so we have to draw a parallel line which is passing through the optic center so this is my parallel line which is passing through the optic center because the ray which is passing through the optic center is proceeds undeviated so this is the point on the focal plane and this is my incident ray so i have to join these two so i am joining these two yes so this is my refracted ray okay let us now draw for a concave lens so for a concave lens okay this is our incident ray given we have to trace the image on the focal plane so for a concave lens focus will be at f1 so draw the dotted lines to make a focal plane okay so this is my original ray right the original incident ray so i have to draw another parallel line passing through the optic center so this is the parallel line which is passing through the optic center so now this is our optic center o so this is the point of incident on the focal plane so what i have to do i have to join these two so this is the point of incidence and this is the focal plane so join these two lines this is dotted lines up to the lens and array that's all so this is our refracted ray understood let us check one more example for concave this is our incident ray this is concave so i have to draw focal plane at f1 because it is making some angle with the principal axis this is not a complete parallel line it is making some angle with the principal axis so draw the focal plane now this is the original ray so bring it parallel to the and passing through the optic center so this is the ray this is the point of incidence so this is the focal plane now join these two Sorry. So this is F focus F one. Okay. Hope you have understood. Now let us see what how to draw a ray diagram when refracted ray is given. So in this diagram, refracted ray is given and they are asked us to write draw the incident ray. So we have to draw the incident ray for this refracted ray. So how to draw? See here, this is the refracted ray. So we know that. the this refracted ray has to meet at the focal plane because it is coming from um, parallel to the principal axis making some angle so i will draw the focal plane here so this is the point on the focal plane so now i have to draw a line joining this point and the optic center this point joining this point and optic center i have to draw a ray so this is the ray okay now i have to see here this is the ray passing through the optic center now slowly bring it to the point of incidence here this is the point of incidence of the lens right so here you draw a line so now this is your ray incident ray this is your refracted ray so this is how we have to draw the incident ray for this refracted ray okay now let us check for the concave lens so here for, for the concave lens this is the refracted ray given so now what we have to do just draw the focal plane here so this is the focal plane now extend this refracted ray 
in back direction see here see that their line should be same okay now draw this extend it this is done here is the point of incidence now from this point of incident i have to draw a ray passing through the optic center so this is my ray passing through the optic center so dotted line and a straight line okay now this is the ray which actually i have to go get so bring it same like that to the point of incidence here this is the point of incidence so now same parallel line we have to draw that's all so this is my incident ray and this is my refracted ray so hope this video will help you in drawing the ray diagrams thank you